So this Tra- this is our dude, Joe our, has been our first guest on don't, YouTube. Don't show Holler. Joe internet videos when he's hot. Oh my god! I, I, what do you mean? That's all I do. At I night. was baked. It's different for Joe. Let me welcome Joe. First of all, Hi this Joe. is Joe Perino. Everybody, you may know him. Uh, wait, as, wait, you know him because he sits and stands when he wipes. He let us know. He does I both. Do both. You freak of nature. Go ahead, Cass. You got to hit all the angles. Sorry, interrupted. Go ahead, Cass. He plays Vincent on uh, Stars' show Power. That's correct. And it's what season now? It's the sixth season, the sixth and last season. What a run. Well, I joined last season, season five. The one right before they had to stop the show. They call it a better Sopranos, (laughs) this show. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it's kind of true. They took what was good about the Sopranos and they just... Made it better. That's Back right. Off. He loves to <laughs> push buttons. This guy. Yeah. But you know, there was the first so- Soprano con. You guys were aware. I mean, yeah, you were aware of that. Yeah. And uh, I went. And, yeah, because uh, you were on the Sopranos. I was. With, uh, I was. Wabut. Yeah. 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 And you met you and guys. Yeah, for those of you, oh, what up, so, God? a lot of Sopranos what fans. Can, <laughs> that was it's the like, first time you guys for me met. To do this without. Speaking my my normal voice because we usually language? just <laughs> yeah we usually just I no, speak I as an old it. Italian guy. We're like, oh, what up, God? Oh, what up, How you doing, Law? How you doing? But Lord? see, I have a, a special hello with him. I have a special hello with her. So maybe it's you. Yeah, and then when you see me, you're just like, hello, hey, Cassim. what's up? Yeah, because maybe you're just not fun enough. He's you know? afraid what you're about to do when he gets in your car. How are you today? Cassim gets like, hi. I mean, Jamie I gets like, hi, Amy Lee. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, and then Joey gets like, oh, what up, loud? What up, loud? Yeah, and then Cassim gets nothing. Hello. Yeah. Cassim gets a little Hi. of the maybe well, like Chicago, like, hey, babe, oh. how you doing, babe? How you doing, babe? I do. I, how yeah. you doing, you prick? You, yeah. You prick. <laughs> hey, you prick bastard. Uh, well, how did you guys meet? Because I met him because of you, and, and so Jamie Joey, met him because of you. Obviously, I love Jamie the most, but Joey was probably my favorite person. I, I don't have to agree with that. Favorite actor to see uh, on Sopranos because when we would finish filming, he would give me Percocets. That's correct. Or Vicodin. <laughs> you're, or, you're the guy? Whatever. I was the plug. Yeah, no, no, no. my nose the whole time. We would do like a 12 hour work day and then at the end of the day, <laughs> leaving, hey, you know, we're getting like hair and makeup off or whatever. Oh, and, man. And the uh, makeup off and he would come by and just hand me uh, a couple of pills and we'd pop them and then we'd sit in the van back to the city and everybody else would be talking about like horse shit and me and him would be looking out the window like, uh, <laughs> you know, just like, uh. I couldn't get in my system fast enough. Yeah, which I would chew it. I would put it in my back teeth chew it and then so i didn't even need water that was almost at the like the apex of my uh drug problem it was that summer was like the worst but i had a massive opioid addiction at that time in my life and rob put you over the edge he put me over oh. no, no no he put he put me I, yeah, he put me plot. over the edge no he just he knew you know like I gave my, him a couple like i i got the read off him i was like he takes these things. Th- there's those things that are like love languages and mine is not gift giving unless it's percocets it's very, apparently it's <laughs> because because man what i would lo- i'd be like oh shit joe i would see the call sheet i'd pick joey's one. <laughs> this is yeah. fucking great and then at the end of the night he'd come over we'd each pop a couple vicodins and sit in the van home and just be looking out the window and all and people would would notice too for sure right they would be like because we're all fucking you know on set like this this kind of vibe and then as soon as we yeah. got in that van we'd just uh, crunching on aspirin yeah we would just be fine and like, then we Whoa. had we had a we had a time i think like the first night or the second day working together we we went out next yeah, thing I, I know it's like 7 a.m we're at some rand i don't know whose apartment we were at he's one of the few people who will ever be on the show who has seen me yeah, oh, at, yeah. At my like d- devil eyes, and <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, yeah, really. I did definitely see like the depths, but I've been there too. Sometimes I asked no the kid, I'm like, you have anything to snort you. here, right? I was like, is there anything to snort in this house? And he's like, uh, no, I don't think so. And then his roommate had what he, he had. Uh, you, well, you had him wake the roommate up. The kid just got up, like his hair was sticking up. <laughs> he's like, oh, I got riddle in. They were snorting up like half crushed. Ritalin falling out of their couple nose. Couple of bullies. It was a time, yeah. <laughs> whatever it. A couple uh, of bullies, you guys were. Whatever it takes. No, we, but we all we had, and then you we had nights out at the club too. A couple nights. Oh yeah. Where you, you were there? You were there. Probably. Remember? Or, yeah. Wait, was was I'm doing my little dance on the banquet? Yeah. And then yeah. I go home. Was that the water. night? Was yeah. that the night from the picture in the post where she's like, where I'm chugging on the bottle oh, of vodka? Oh, the open of Pasha. I think so. Maybe no. The 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 picture that you guys posted. And like maybe the first or second yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that one was wins. Vegas. That's Vegas. That one. That's Vegas, my 21st birthday. <laughs> that That's was different. the first time, the real first time that I was like, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm very And concerned. I wasn't at all. And I was up from, But I was you know. too scared to say anything. 
I get, because I, get I loved him so much and like I didn't like I never wanted him to be angry at me. I didn't know how he was going to react, so I just left. He's a liar. Well, he's a Jamie. Pleasing what? people. Yes. He's well, a liar. Joey's one of the first one. people in my life who I spent time with who I felt like was enlightened and had seen the other side and, oh. and kicked addiction and got healthy with diet and meditation and kind of pushed me in that direction. And I love him. I love Joey like family. I really do. Yeah. You but, know, there uh, was there was a moment. I love you too, man. I do, man. When, when I met I love, both of you. I love you too. And I love you too, Jamie. Especially um, more. I feel like I really know you through this podcast. That's so sweet. You don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that woman. I barely know her. Uh, when you got me a coffee, so I like you. Know. I did. I did get her a coffee after some feedback. Um, <laughs> I met you guys at the same day. And it yeah. was clear to me you guys had some sort of uh, trauma uh, history. And we, you know, now we share our trauma together. <laughs> but uh, you guys were very nice in letting me in on your little, you know, your little club. <laughs> well, you bought us weed pens. Well, that was oh, later. That's it. I'd have, look that right. helps. I won you over with my charm, and then when I when when you guys stuck around, I bought you weed pens. Yeah, but the weed pens was the real. That was that's the, the way to my heart. Through the door, like we were like this guy. This was when weed pens were barely yeah. on the around. scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like we, a hot we, commodity. Being from New York, we had never really like like no. here and there where it was like oh you try it, but like being like yeah you can go to the store and get you had them yeah. delivered to your house weed pens, and you were like yeah, yeah I came and me and I I'll never forget me and him got <laughs> off of work and we smoked. And it was probably like three or four <laughs> in the morning and we're in downtown LA no. and he's about to make a right onto the highway. And I looked at him, I was like, Joe, <laughs> I was like, you, you can't get on the highway, please. And jo Joey, like, the way he go. is, he's like, all right, <laughs> no problem. He's like, we're just gonna go. You know, here we go, we take like the extra, extra long yeah. <laughs> way there. It takes forever. We get to, oh my God. It was just, we were fucking, and right after that, we were like, we love Chasm. Oh. It's, it's official. That's it. Well, you know, I, I was, you know, I felt like I was a bad influence then you yeah. know i was the one always getting i was really into weed and smoking a lot and then like couldn't wait for us to rap you know when we were shooting that day because i knew like oh all three of us were gonna go sit in our trailers on the steps yeah. and just suck on these pens yeah, and, yeah. and then just just talk about the events of what <laughs> happened in the day you know yeah. and that to me was like the show can yeah. i say yeah. i Truly loved bonding. that she, he sent me um the pilot and uh. i loved it Oh, you you liked it? I loved it. That's right. good feedback. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. But I can... still think it could be made. Eh. Uh, <laughs> that I says do. it all. I loved it. <laughs> I had so much fun watching it. The, Thank you. The, 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 just so everyone knows, I told a story on this podcast about the time that um, he sat on the edge of the bed coughing when we were <laughs> yeah. in the hotel. And just so people I don't know, even remember just that. so people know, I'm not exaggerating. How long? Was he on the edge of the bed? <laughs> <laughs> How long, Joe? For real? For like 20 minutes. Thank you. I think that's exactly what I said. Minutes. And not only that, but like the first five minutes, Jane, we're like... <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah. we already told the story. Okay, we but get we it. We got a new audience now. No, you, we get poop. it. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> smoked insight. a lot. Okay, I smoked a lot. Didn't know where no, the no, line no. was. There are certain <laughs> things that happen in your life where you realize you probably should stop doing the shit that you're doing. That's one of them. Yeah, no, but you didn't even acknowledge this night, by the way. This was more <laughs> of a me and Joe. I blanked it. I don't even yeah. remember. It wasn't like you weren't embarrassing or anything. You just. It hit you, you added deep, nothing like, to the conversation. <laughs> for you had Jack Daniels, and you're on the edge, right on the corner uh, of the bed, and we we all <laughs> smoked a blunt, and you were like, <laughs> so me and him make our own conversation for a few minutes, you know, we're loud, we're joking. Then around minute ten, I probably back. wanted to go to bed. We're like, what? No, 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 because you're like, you know, you're doing you're so little like, aggressive. if we would make a joke or whatever, you'd kind of like, you would do. What, like, what, what is this? I don't know. What but is it this? Was like, it was like what you would do, like an old man. Hey guys, if I may, you were. In the room, but just had nothing to no no feedback. You, you weren't you couldn't giving us breathe. anything. You know, you, you know what breathe. I don't. You know Those what I don't miss. Got it hard. <laughs> you know what I don't miss from that part of my life was like every time I would rip a bong, there was like a 50 50 chance I was gonna puke. And Oof. yeah, and like when I would, especially That's if it's odds. at the end of the day, <laughs> and I didn't have any food, it's terrible odds. No food in my stomach, and then like also beers, and then that, and then that. If you ever hit a bong, you know what I'm saying. At the top of it, you get the residual, like the the uh, weed Resin. residue, starts to accumulate on the top of right where you put your lips, right. Mm -hmm. And then if I would catch a whiff of that, 
and and the water's in and there. The, yeah, and I was very good about changing the water. But if I just sniffed it and I was like one too many rips, there was a 50-50 chance I was ralphing in the sink oh. right next to it. And that's when you start to go like, what is this doing to my body? There was just no, there was nothing great about being at that point in my life. And yeah, coughing a lot. These things start to add up. You know, you cough. You're not adding anything to the conversation. <laughs> you're spilling drinks on your friends. You know, there's just a lot my of these things sneakers. that start to add up. Yeah, yeah. But the, I think that's the thing too is like it's crazy how when you get old and things, you could change the relationship you have with something. Like for me from 12 until I was 30, weed was like, how do we get as high as possible? And that's it. Yeah. So where weed has totally changed my life now where it's like, if I'm, I need to get my appetite going after the gym or if I hurt my back in the gym or if something, if I'm just like, oh, I'm not sleeping well, I just go and take one hit, two hits. Like we went to Koreatown uh, the other day and we both smoked and we were like walking around feeling Ill good. Fire. I got, brought that good shit yeah, for you. Yeah, that's that good <laughs> Joey shit. Joey came Seriously. home Bro, last night. We haven't gotten high together. Holy shit! I got I got it on me. All right, I gotta go this. home. Oh, and we'll be right parents, back, guys. What are you doing after your dinner? Come over. Uh, maybe. Why don't you come? Can't sick. you come to? You know, you have a family. <laughs> and my kids. You are, are more sick. than I can't invited. Leave them right now. Thank We're you. We're going to dinner tonight. Uh, Joey comes home. <laughs> Thanks to my for house. the late invite. No, no, it was assumed that uh, Rob would tell you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Joey's. Uh, well, you know what it was. It was like Lindsay's. Like, hey, should should we invite Jamie? I'm like, yeah, but, uh, but her kid, like everyone's sick in her house, and you know, it's like she has a family. You don't have to lie. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. Everyone's sick. He's a liar. You know what? Actually, I Joe, got you a coffee. Joe, what are you doing for the next three, four years? Because <laughs> there's a spot opening on a sh little show called Pajama Pants, yeah. and uh, yeah. right. I I'd love like to know. a fourth member. Oh, love it! But he lives yeah. in New York. That's why he's yeah. only here. Yeah, Joey's funny. Fly too. me out. Fly me to the once moon. a week. When we powers bang done. And you come hang with us. Oh, it's finished. Oh, oh it's and done. You finished the season? Finished. It's all done. Can you talk about what you do on that show? Wait, Is hold it, on. What? You said Joey came home last night and oh, yeah, I was stoned he was out of his, his mind. It was blitzed. a great day. A lot of great vibes. Good, you know, seeing people that I love and whatnot. And But I didn't smoke all day. We get back. We just pull up to the house. I'm like, let me hit this joint. I hit it like four times. Oh, that's hard. the best. That's the sweet spot. The four end of times. the day, four it times. Great. Yeah. And we walk through the door. And you I never made like, it to the end of a day. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I, six I was guy. so fucking oh. high. I like I. He thinks he was like acting weird, but he was just normal. But no, I wasn't as engaging. Is, I, no, I would have been sweet. more respectful and you know, uh, investing in he your girlfriend. Great. And I wasn't asking questions. I was just like, oh shit, look at the TV. That's but okay, you had on the best content. <laughs> Like all just his own videos. videos. Every yeah. time I go to his house, he's oh, watching his, his own, own his own videos. <laughs> he's like, "Look, this is when I say." It's not true. That's a big sip of Malibu, brother. That's, <laughs> that's our favorite classic. line. That's our that's favorite line. Yeah, yeah, I got some fans hey, here right yeah. now. That's we watched nice. for three hours, one laugh, but it was a good, it was it was a solid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. it was a solid laugh. And by the way, when we were in Koreatown, you can rent bidets. Bidets. Why would you ever want to exactly. rent something that 20, shoots water $27 up? Twenty seven dollars a month. You rent a bidet because I told Joey, I'm like, that's I, one of those things I would buy. Yeah, you have I to. I understand exactly. There was they a bring stand it to your house. There was a stand in oh, Koreatown for renting just, bidets. Yeah, thirty dollars a month. Oh, you didn't investigate. You just saw a sign, but you didn't. Well, like we were high, but we we saw it and we're like, what? And we look I think and it was it's like a special pajama pants. Um, assignment. We should go, we go back to the streets. And it was, find out what the fuck that means. It was nine hundred ninety nine dollars to buy or thirty dollars a month to rent. I just still don't understand. You just you rent the Doesn't bidet. Does it have to be hooked up to like pipe p plumbing? Yeah, of course. But the, you, you, people have a house. What do you mean? Oh, it's like it's a, a thing seat. you put in your toilet. It's the yeah. It's oh, it's that thousand okay. dollar seat that you put. But still, like no, you gotta drive to it. You take a shit. <laughs> you drive to Koreatown. It's like a phone booth. You walk in and you sit down, and it's powered by a You're person. Like, There's a person under there. I can hang there. out in a couple of hours. I gotta drive down to Koreatown. Yeah, it's it comes to wash my, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Me oh and God. Joey spend a lot of our time talking about food and pooping. Oh, it's the most important thing. He'll Can call me. He'll be like, oh, I had a real good movement. A good <laughs> BM. Today. I, th I thought about, so you know how they have like Fitbit? I thought of a thing called Shitbit that we should get, and it tracks your pooping. 
So oh it's God. like it tells you the quality. It's, and you could like mm. share your stuff with friends. So I let you know Pictures? like, hey, had a great poop today. No, it just lets you know like the quality. How many times did you poop that day? How maybe it even, like, like an Instagram, but for your poop. Yeah, maybe it tracks your weight of like, oh, you lost 0.8 of a pound, that poop. And you, you track it with mm. your friends. Yo, that's a great fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Joey loves it. That's a great we idea. We would do it big time. Yeah. Yeah. A shit bit? Shit bit. Yeah. We said it first. Trademark it. Trademark. We've got about three days before this comes out. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's it's very important. A good BM is the most important thing. Because you know your health. the tone for your day. It does. You know, Absolutely. when you get a nice snake coiled up there in the toilet, Close you did something. Hand. You really it's, accomplished it's, something. Jamie's about to get too uncomfortable. All I right, want to get on. to like the food portion of your conversation. Oh, oh you, okay. speaking of food, so oh, I food. You mean so appreciate? Right I think now. I think the best <laughs> way to sum up our friendship. Speaking of food, Thanksgiving. Kasim called us Holy on the first shit. Thanksgiving oh, man. Shit that oh. we were friends. This is gonna take some explaining. And my, Jamie, my you're gonna love this. My so, first Thanksgiving. How with, much time we got? Do we have enough time for this story? Yeah. Go, so go ahead, Joe. You're you're the guest. You wanna you wanna take it away? And I gotta be allowed to interject and um, defend myself nope. when possible. Okay? Sorry, but no, no I, we're talking rest of the podcast. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, what, what we're on a three way call, and Kasim, and I wasn't sober at this time. Okay, go okay, ahead. Let, let me set, you sounded very. You're starting sober. too early, and let me set this up. Okay. Kasim is <laughs> not a phone call guy. Kasim no. doesn't just. This is true. Like yes. me and you, if you get a phone call from me, it's it's yeah. What's up? What's going yeah, on? I, Where, when I found out you guys talk on the phone regularly, I was I felt weird. It was yeah. weird to me that what? people talk. No, it it was fine. It's just not something I don't talk to my buddies on the phone. Me, me, me and Joey have an hour conversation it's at solid. least once a week on the phone where we discuss that's sweet. mainly no, that's sweet. bowel movements. Bowel but, movements, and we speak in weird voices. Yeah, we do like uh like um. Do hey, some, loud? How you doing? No, we do jerky voice too. Why like, hi, the hello, hi. Yes, yeah. don't be sore. Uh, What's uh, the... <laughs> bring it back, Mike. Oh, bring it back. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we'll just just, do, do you ever do your Tony Clifton? I don't know. I don't do Tony. I haven't done Tony Clifton. The Tony Clifton for you. Rob's really good at Tony Clifton. Who is He's like Man on the Moon. Right? No. Andy Kaufman. Money's mine. I want to Yeah. I'm bringing my time on the mark. Is that it? But there's the other one that we do. What's the like... Yeah, my castle back in W told my wife was a and we just talk. <laughs> this is castle. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, we talk a lot. <laughs> we talk maybe too much on the phone. You guys are so cute. And uh, so Kasim does not just no. randomly call you to say hello, uh, whatever. So both of our phones ring, I guess, or somebody we we conference. However, <laughs> conference it happens, he, he patched uh, us in. Yeah, and and Kasim's uh, like, we gotta talk. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving Day. He was like, listen, I have some intel. Like, I saw it before my eyes that we have a limited amount of time. We got to go inland. The world's going to end. Extraterrestrials. Like, I got th all the info. And I took a fucking edible because, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. you know, it's it was a did. perfect storm. It was yeah. a perfect storm of my crazy story. It starts hitting me and I'm like, oh my yeah. God, we're going to fucking die. I can't take enough medicine because I have to take medicine every day. Well, what, <laughs> what happened is Jamie, <laughs> so he medicine. tells us, like, he goes, my friend's got this place in like Oregon, well, right? Uh, or where? Where was it? Okay. There, you guys are a little no, 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 scattered. No, come on. Just Montana, say that part. Idaho. My friend's got, all right, so he goes, my friend's got this place in Idaho. It's like Kasim a bunker. Is saying this? Yeah, yes. he goes, my friend's got a place in Idaho. It's a bunker. I think I could get you all in. Is he speaking clearly? Clearly. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, she's calm. And he goes, clearly. Uh, you couldn't tell. Like, if he says he's high, he sounds like he sounds right now. So no, no, I, go, I wasn't high at the time. I'm just saying, <laughs> at this part of my life, I, I was all high and drinking right, I wasn't it was three sober. hours earlier in in it was probably 9 a.m and i want to hear your guys just uh, recount of it and i will tell okay. you my version okay so i so he goes we i we have this bunker in like idaho and he's like and i could get you guys in so, we're get, so me and him are like well, how are we gonna get there? and there's this long silence and joey just goes nope because <laughs> i'm not uh i just uh yeah i can't like i'm just not gonna make it he goes i got i got <laughs> He goes, I got, there's a certain, <laughs> there's a certain medicine that he I got to take. That oh, I, totally threw in the title. For my, wow. uh, for Defeated. my, he goes, there's a medicine I got to take for my liver. And he goes, I'd be out of it in 
two, three months or whatever. And I'm like, Joe. So now he's just sitting back watching everything happen. I'm Rob like, is like, you're giving up just like that? Yeah. I'm like, oh, we got we got to go together. He's got space for us. Like, well, I'm you telling- can't give up just like that. Well, you, did, you, you did mention along? why. You didn't say why. Tell I said the w- th- world was ending. But where was your yeah. mind? Were you just playing along? No, 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 because it wasn't that serious. We're, we're, but we, but he was like, no, I'm just not going to do it. And I was like, dude, I was like, if he has a place for us to go, and and the fucking world's going to end. Because what did you say? You said, okay, let me let me tell you uh, yeah, from yeah, my yeah. So vantage confused. point what was okay. happening. This was a okay. And again, Kasim was never crazy, saying weird no, stuff. None that's, of that. That's why I I don't boy I who cried it. wolf. So when no, I cry wolf, exactly. people listen. Exactly. Now, yeah. This is a lesson to you. Okay. I was I just bought a home and I was having it renovated. I was I had a new kitchen. A lot of things were being done. The lady who was doing it for me, totally straight, uh, fantastic, hardworking, uh, uh, kind of like an interior designer, like uh, almost like contractor. She she was just building stuff for me, getting ordering things. She was at my house every day. Is this how you met Lindsay? No. It, so <laughs> so what so what happened was there would be some downtime where it would just be uh, me and her and she would you know we'd start to open up and talk uh, about you know our lives and after a few of these sort of kitchen conversations she starts telling me how she's being visited at night and her son is being visited at night and and she had no idea I was into aliens or UFOs. Maybe she walked into my office where there's a giant photo of Bigfoot and maybe she could sense that I was into things like this. Maybe she read me very well, but she started recounting alien visitations that her and her son were having. And she was telling me things that were very specific that if you paid attention to alien UFO stuff, you'd be like, that's really specific. She would say things like, we were visited by these tall, blonde uh uh, extraterrestrials, which are Nordics, or the uh, Nordics, yeah. but also a fact about Nordics is that they also Nordics are aliens. They're called the Nordics. They look yeah, like they tall look- Swedish mm-hmm. Thor. They look like Thor. You know, yeah, yeah. Chris That's Hemsworth. What real aliens look like? Well, a uh, species. There's many species. Many of them. species of aliens. Now, yeah, I this, believe in all this, this particular like species. Them. Rolls with the grays, and he's telling us is we're both high, Fucking like high it's, it's, it's the holidays. Where we're only taking love, it like it's all. <laughs> she's explaining. She's explaining to me that she's visited by a, a Nordic alien who has a magic belt, who um, is is being uh, traveled with by a gray, and the grays c- kind of do the grunt work for the Nordics. They're the gray, big head aliens with the big eyes, right? Okay. They're the ones that you've seen in Fire in the Sky in these types of movies. Communion. The classical. Classic right. gray, short classical. alien, the ones that'll fucking crawl through your AC vent and fucking like drag you down a hallway. Um, <laughs> they're, they're aggressive? Well, you know, if you watch Fire in the Sky and, and you listen to Travis Walton's uh, reenactment or account of what happened to him um, in Hebrew o- Overguard, Arizona, and his abduction, which was world famous and turned into a movie and uh, a book, a subsequent book written about it. Um, <laughs> his account is they they were aggressive and they did tests on him, held him down, uh, implanted, did a lot of things, jerked him off, milked him. Um, th- him off. Some of it doesn't sound so bad now that I say it out loud. Yeah. Anyways, she was saying <laughs> that her milking. son. Now, here's the thing that sold it to me. Her son, when I met this kid, he was, uh, I, I'm really bad at telling how old kids are. When I see a kid, it, it's either he's either five or 16 to me. I don't know how <laughs> yeah. old kids Somewhere are. Yeah, I don't that. know any nine-year-olds. This kid, was, yeah, this kid was under 10, but he could have been 17. Do you look like Bo? He looked uh, about Bo's age, maybe a, uh, a year younger. Okay. When I met this kid, he just had this look in his eye. He's, it's almost like he's communicating with like some like a satellite he's always just like hi good to see you like he knows like you know somebody looks at you and they they know you and they look right through your eyes and see into your soul and they know like what your future is like gonna be and Haley like Joel Osment. almost just like that and you look yeah. at you and be like you'll die in six months <laughs> yeah <laughs> of cancer you know and and one of these so this kid was creeping me out I don't. I shouldn't say creep, but he was interesting to me. Yes. She follows up, and I have this. I'm like, this kid's walking around my house. So she's so, just telling you they're visiting. She's telling me that these aliens are coming, and no they want to take her son because he is a hybrid. Okay. And she is telling me that they've been giving him and communicating messages to him about how the world is going to end soon, and at the at at, at 
at one of the last versions of the story, it was like imminent and there was an asteroid that we couldn't see. And on top of all this, we were getting, there was in the news that we were finding an asteroid. Asteroid had just like grazed by Earth. It was like all kind of in the ether. Yeah, and Joey's like, no, it went by. Cosm was like, no, that's fake. Right, right, that's okay, yeah. Not. So, I, so here I am now, I am corroborating scientific <laughs> <laughs> sort of reports that are happening, corroborating what Joey thinks is happening. This lady's telling me that these th they are waiting for this to happen because it's all part of like an inevitable plan where they are going to offload certain humans and it's almost going to be like the rapture uh, where certain humans will be gone or hybrids. It, 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 it was enough for me. I, I, I believed it 70-80%. And it was enough for me to call the people closest to me in my life and try to <laughs> deliver this message. heed a warning to them. And that day happened to be Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, four or five years, probably five years ago now. Is it still possible to be happen? To happen? Well, no, she was like some know, crazy I lady. I had and... contact with her um, recently. I don't know about that, but I believe. No, but he said it was in like the aliens. I believe in the indigo children, like the hybrids, all that stuff. But but Casim's thing real. was saying like it was happening within the next few days. Absolutely, yes. So he so say, he's yep. yeah he and was then. telling us like this is happening now. So like, I had to get to Idaho. Yeah, and I had just smoked also because it's Thanksgiving. I was <laughs> was going up to my dad's to sit with my whole family. <laughs> Poor Yuri, yeah. dude, Yuri. Okay, so wait, wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I, I smoke. I I'm hear so this sorry. whole thing on the phone, and then I'm like, okay, I order an Uber to go up to my dad's. I'm sitting looking out the window for 45 minutes, just like, oh. like doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is all. And then I'm sitting at the dinner table, and like, my little sister is like, can you pass the corn? And I was just like, I was just looking at her like, so it, so it all means nothing. What is it about? You know, like, What's the point? Yeah, like why? But like, oh, why? she and like, like oh. she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't. Poor thing. Has no idea there's Ignorance a ball hurtling to this yeah. earth right now. And by the way, not telling Tidal any of them because there's, wide. there's only a certain amount of room in the bunker. <laughs> so I'm not telling anybody. Right. Yes. I'm just watching them eat turkey and enjoy themselves. Yeah, enjoy and, it. Yeah, Gorge, they're like, they're, you know, you poor fools. We, we always bet this on football. This could be the last turkey you ever have. They're asking me for my input on football games, and I'm just looking at them. I'm like, yeah, bet it all. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> What is your even? Fun. Yeah. Oh shit! I fucking ruined Thanksgiving. For it, these was guys. Ruined. I ruined. it was ruined. Thanksgiving. I ruined. Ruined. Okay, I walked out of the room and I <laughs> sat down at the dinner table. And Yuri always brings it up. She was like, "You was just quiet." I was just staring like at the wall, like, "Yo, it's all done." Like, <laughs> and I can't fucking. I'm not gonna make it. I can't like go out there and try to make it in the wilderness because I have to take this medication. The best was when he said he couldn't get yeah. his medicine. Rob. Okay, so so. <laughs> <laughs> what Rob was saying is he calls, he tells, he By tells the way, Joey. Yuri is Joe's wife, just so everyone knows. Okay, so, yeah, my yeah. Wife. and she's here now, and she's a, a beautiful woman who she's puts best. up, who's who's put up with a lot of this. Um, she, <laughs> yeah. she sure has. But the, the, the funniest part of all, not just the, the insanity of what this story was, but when I got on the phone with Rob and Joe and told them this story within, I don't know, I was done telling them what was going on in five <laughs> or six minutes, shorter amount of time than what it took me to explain just now. Rob's, Rob's instinct is, we're going to Idaho, we're going to the bunker. Joe gave up. He turned over on his on his back, legs in the air, up. like a dead spider said, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I can't, he gave up. I can't fight anymore. Yeah, I was defeated. Uh, and I and I that little I ruined Thanksgiving for both of you okay. and uh, but it's one of the best stories and it's not Such one I've ever told story. before and I don't get to really talk about it like this this is, this you is know, so good you know what one of my this is a different kind of story one of my favorite Joey stories is so we we have to drive from L A to Vegas <laughs> holy shit. So where I forget if we even we might not have even smoked or done anything and we're sitting in the back of the car and it's four of us and the three of us not counting Joe are talking the whole way and it was a lot of gambling stuff so I get why Joey wasn't chiming in on, on all of it and we're talking about this and football and poker and this and that and we're let's say we made the ride we made it fast let's say three hours. Mm -hmm. So it's night time and everything's dark and we're all quiet and we're pulling into, you know, we're about to pull off the exit to, to pull up to where the house is that we're going. And out of nowhere, Joey has not said anything for a long time. And out of nowhere, Joey goes, yeah, I think I'm addicted to hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. And we were all like, 
what? <laughs> like that's oh, he was just funny. he left the conversation and for like thirty <laughs> minutes was staring out the window, coming to grips with the fact that he's addicted. Tell me the thought process behind that. Because I was just it? doing some soul searching and oh. and I just I'm like, what are I? What am I always thinking about? I'm always thinking about him. Well, hammer. you probably saw a lot of drive throughs on the way. I did. True. Yeah. There's but I a love, lot of drive throughs on the way to Vegas. I love hamburgers. Always like stop at Alien What's Jerky. What's your favorite hamburger? Uh, well, I like, you know, I'm I'm enjoying Shake Shack. But it PJ doesn't even, Clark's? PJ Clark's. Or J.G. Melons? J.G. Melons is the best. I love J.G. Melons. You know, like it's, an not, no, it's not up there for me at all. Really? No. Nah. What about fast what? food wide so everybody kind of knows? Yeah, Shake Shack. Shake, okay, yeah, Shake, Shake Shack, Shack is great. In and out, I like. You don't like Shake Shack? Shake in and out, uh, Shake I haven't Shack had one in a while. Fair burger that's, lounge. That's an LA thing. No, yeah, we got to take you. you like I think I might have one. No, no. So now healthier. it's the new year. Now, now I'm just cleaning it up. <laughs> cleaning it up. Yeah, we're burgers? going. To, we're going to dinner tonight. You're not going to be cleaning it up. Well, what, 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 where are we going to eat? Italian, but it's you know we're going to be fucking around. We're going to we're going this to Jolina. In this Venice. is true. Yeah. yeah, I will indulge. So if I fancy I, dinner, if I can speak, and and that to me is essentially the dynamic with the three of us. It's it's Rob has um, an intensity and a <laughs> and a um, a wisdom that comes from having lived a thousand lives in in your lifespan. I have uh, a sort of uh, a very different sort of intensity uh, in a reverence towards things that are irrelevant. Uh, that's good. And and <laughs> I, I love irrelevance. And and then there's Joe who will hit you with the, I think I'm addicted to hamburgers, <laughs> well, which is just such a complete different. He's on the other side of the ball. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we're if we're here, you're always here, or you're on your own ball. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm and that's somewhere what, else, all right. I'll never have to worry about laughing when you're around. It's <laughs> always yeah. a good time. And when, when so, Casim uh, explained us to his girlfriend, and he said. Uh, I'm the mouth, Kasim's the brain, and Joey's the heart <laughs> when we're oh, all hanging beautiful. out. Who said that? You said that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And he is. Joey's the heart. Joey's one of the biggest hearts out of anyone I know. So enlightened, so always trying to look at the positive yeah. side of of stuff. And, and one of the first people who I met like that, because when you're dealing with addiction and you're drinking and you're partying and all that, and Jamie was like that, but she didn't like... It wasn't like you put it out like and and also you, you got later to push anything on But you. also but it was like later in life is when you really yes. came to that with like yes. MS and that yes. kind of drove you towards it where even yes. you were saying like in your throes of addiction you were still like no I watch what I eat I meditate I right like you're mindful I was you know battling you know both trying to because I knew I was doing something terrible to my body, mm -hmm. so then I would try to counter it with taking vitamins and drinking lemon water, making sure, because I knew all that aspirin and shit was just destroying me. I yeah. mean, I was aware enough. Sure. But then you just, you know, put the intentions out there, I guess, and start vibrating where you bring people to you that, you know, are on that same level. Mm -hmm. It's like out of the blue, he hits me up for that thing that we were involved with that like you know we would keep in touch once a year yeah but you know i guess i was like you know i want to work with good people and mm -hmm. then you hit me you're up, a great so actor like, joe oh, yeah great actor a professional and we weren't that's the other thing we should tell people we weren't friends after the sopranos were like we are now it was like yeah no it's... there were six years in between the end of sopranos yeah. and when we really started to absolutely always we left off with love Right, but I was other, also a maniac. You couldn't, there was bit, no yeah. like roping me in to be like, have a conversation. And no, the, I it was, was like when we hung out at some uh, bar or something, or when I saw you at that, uh, that dude, Jeff Marchetti's, um, he had a bar, right? The country club or something like okay, that. Okay, yeah, yeah. On yeah. 2014th or something. 14th Street, right. yeah. So I would see you every maybe couple of years. Right, it was yeah, always, it was like, always we had a great time, and... but it was never like a daily. Yeah. Checking I was like one of those cartoon characters where it's like, oh, he's over there now. <laughs> you know, like, oh, he's just like, vroom, vroom, Tasmanian you know? I, devil. I will say in the in the throes of your, like of that time, you were still always available. Like if I ever texted yeah. or called, you'd pick up, you'd answer. Like you never He's always awake because he's high out of his mind. No, but he was always there. But, it was but also, you have a different relationship. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like okay. people talk about us being You're family. Like his sister. And I'm like, we're, to me, Jamie's better than family. Because yeah. I'm like, there's no it's bad family parts. You choose. Chosen family, yeah, it's yeah. like there's no bad parts. There's like to our relationship. Like I yelled yeah. at you once. Besides that, we've been great. Yeah. There's no. Totally. Just don't sit on his bed. 
or touch any of his belongings, right? Or is the, no, does expand, she get a pass? Expand on that. No, Jamie, no. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie could actually. Jamie's. I would. Oh, she gets yeah. a pass. I've never been to any of his places. Okay. No, nobody really ever was back in the day because they were so disastrous. My friends did though. Didn't Sloan go back to your place once? Oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, like, oh, Sloan. Uh, hell yeah. Like one night after Sloan. butter, I remember I was like, "You went to Rob's?" Right. Yeah. It was. I have pictures of my old apartment. It looked like Katrina, a, a Katrina footage, like Hurricane <laughs> Katrina. Oh my God. How there was just just. G- mounds of garbage and just oh my god it was so, I how look did at, you live like I look that? at pictures now and I have such anxiety there was like a footpath to get to my couch and there was just clothes and empty fucking bottles and, and it was just mounds of trash and now my apartment is like spotless it's spotless. amazing from where I met these guys to where they are now completely like changed yeah 180 yeah, yeah well, a little yeah. bit for the better. For the better. Yeah, yeah. Of well, we talk well, about hope that happens with anyone. Yeah. Because well, well, can... people don't, you know, people who don't know me think like, oh, you were successful when you were 22 and now you're doing nothing. And in my head, it's the opposite. I'm like, when I was yeah. 22, I was a fucking disaster. And now it's like, I really have my fucking shit don't together. Don't you think that's kind of fucked, though? Like, I, I, the perception I, of relevance. The perceptions of relevance, exactly. Where people will be like, what are, you, what are you doing with your life? You're like, you're right. Because you don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sitting around right. doing absolutely nothing. nothing. But that's the other it's thing. There's so of, much. It's really frustrating. There's so much mm-hmm. content these days that you could be on Two yeah. t- totally. like there's there's people who you think like oh that poor bastard's doing nothing and then if you look, search them it's like oh shit you're on three shows right, right. now Absolutely. it's all like, such like I never measured my success by acting and that kind of shit because I'm just like or any I sort did. of any sort of work or so you you felt I I just I don't know I did I don't know why I think it's because what the influences I had daily influences I had for a long time yeah. that's what was measured so. And I, I'm a person who I'm trying to work on, like, but seeks validation because mm-hmm. I am so hard on myself that when other people give it to me, I can hold, I hold on to it so tightly because I, the own voice in my head is so mean to me. Um, but since I, I feel like more than ever now, I've like I like who I am, and that's where I measure my success uh, because absolutely. I've worked so hard on it mm-hmm. in the quieter times. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's yeah. That's that's a great place to be in. Yeah. What, what is the best place? Is there anything like clear that like the voice in your head that you're trying to shake that it's always saying to you where you're like? I think it's more like I actually even had a moment this morning where like it's still there, but the fact that I have the awareness that it's there mm-hmm. is helping me because I'm like, oh okay, that you're my ego, absolutely, and you do a job in my life. Yeah. I had this, the first guy I ever learned how to meditate with, can I borrow your pen? He taught me this. He put this in front of me and he's like, here's your ego. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Your ego will never get it. It does not know what to do once it has that because that's all the ego, the ego is just is the push and pull. So that was like a big moment for me to be like, okay, so I understand it's allowed in the car. It just has to be in the back seat. It's no longer driving. So it's in those lucid moments that I have where I'm like, okay, I recognize that you're here. You're not going to go anywhere. I can't, I wish I could get rid of you. And that's what I was talking about with ayahuasca journeys is because it liter- for hours it takes your ego away. And like, we never get to live like that. So it, that's why it's such intense therapy for people because my God, to to live in that peace for that long and to <clears throat> confront things without your ego commenting on it, it's helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to hear about, you just had one recently, right? Well, it got- A private one? It got one? privately canceled. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. okay. She didn't but do it's it. okay. Now it's public. I, okay, it's, good. It, it's, we'll talk about it on the next podcast. Yeah, well, but yeah, yes. you- I okay. don't want to talk about ayahuasca anymore. <laughs> um, it's going to be, it's going to happen for the better in a better way. Well, okay. that's the thing okay, about great. like, you know, because I've uh, talked about this, but I've been meditating for like three, four years, like every single day. And like people will then see me- Like get angry at something in this and they're like, oh, I thought meditate. And it's like, no, the difference is when I get angry, I know I'm getting angry. Sure. I know it's how, where before it was like things happen, I react, move on. Like I was never like, oh, I'm starting to get angry. I'm I'm getting angry. And and, and you were just in it. Like I was just like, Mm -hmm. fuck this. You sure were. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Joey, Joey knows, you know, I was just very, so it's like, 
it's it's nice to be able to you know you realize we also can have of, forgiveness for yourself in absolutely. those moments as opposed to beating yourself Don't be up hard after on it yourself, happens yeah. like all right i'm like even i had it with my son today where i was i'd really lost my patience because i'm so tired and they've been home from school because they're both sick and everything and i've lost my patience with him and i went up to him after i was like hey that wasn't cool of me. I'm sorry. Like, even though mommy's an adult, like, she makes mistakes too. And I have to learn sometimes. Like, I'm sorry. He's like, it's okay. Because I, in the end of the day, it's not, it's, that po- apology was for me. But what I'm hoping he takes from it is when he messes up all the times in his life, he knows that he can go to somebody and say that. But you said he's already doing that, right? Yes. When I was there on uh, on on Sunday, you were saying, like, he he recognized something he did where he was like, oh, I'm sorry that I was, which is mm-hmm. fucking crazy for mm-hmm. someone who's six years old. I still. You know, that's so funny because we were watching some of those Jimmy Kimmel, um, you, you, you like take, take your kids candy. Halloween <laughs> yeah. candy and then ha- some of the kids, you know, most of the kids are like, fuck you, mom. <laughs> mom, burn this place down. But some of the kids are like, it's okay, mommy. I love you. I'm not mad. And I don't, I can't fathom how that happens and that's exactly what you uh, yeah. said it's you you show that hey we we're not infallible we can make uh bad decisions and when we do we we say oops and then we continue right. and we try and do it better the next time right you know and well because i think that that's where a lot of things faulted for me because i thought my parents knew everything and my parents made a shit ton of mistakes but yeah. never admitted them to oh, me. Oh, same, yeah. And so I got real fucked up from that for yeah. a long time. And I'm not blaming them. They were doing the best they can. You know what yeah. I mean? But but there's that pride. I think we're all, when you, the cool thing about becoming a parent too is because is you can try and heal your own traumas through your parenting and try and be a better version of your parent. Look, is, am I probably going to send my kid to therapy for something? For sure. But yeah. I know I'm not perfect and I never will be, but I'm. we're all better versions of our parents, yeah. I think, or try to be. Because I, I have an instinct to, I was hit as well. Mm-hmm. And so I, ha- like when he really is misbehaving or like on my last nerve, it, initially when that mm-hmm. first started happening, mm-hmm. I had an urge to pap him on the butt or like, because that's what happened to me. Yeah. And Troll, I didn't. Show him a little slap. Yeah. But I didn't because I didn't like that when that happened to me. Yeah. But it's in us. Mm-hmm. Joey's old school. He beats the crap out of his kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean. I'm sure they deserve it. Well, Joey's he made he an interesting have, decision. He doesn't have any. He's made the decision to not. Yeah, you're not going to have kids, right? Yeah, we're not we're not uh, having any kids. I think that's, uh, you know, I don't hear that enough. I feel like there's so many people who should not have kids. Should not have children. And I they agree. have them. It's always the people that shouldn't have them. I'm probably not going to. But I don't I, I'm, I don't rule it out, but it's like. You're going to have them at like, you're you going to so? be like 50 something. You're going to be like, you know what, I'm going to have them. You're going to have them later. What, uh, so Definitely. I, I want to ask you about, because I can't picture you and your wife fighting ever. How often do you guys fight? We don't. That's what I, I swear. I was. I don't know say how that. you could fight with because I'm a smart man. She says we're going to do this. I say yes. Okay. But see, you do it like a man. Unlike Cass. What does that mean? Cass, you just like you're just like a you know you're kind of kind of choose your words wisely here, you're, Robert. You're kind of more of a pussy than you know all other men that I know. I, I mean, just look at the rainbow. <laughs> Colors of our podcast theme that you decided to, you know what there I mean? There is You're a just... raging homosexual hiding underneath that volcano. <laughs> yeah. You want to suck me, dude. Oh, I can't think Every of Every time anything... you say something like that, all I hear is, dude, let, pull down your pants, get a boner, and <laughs> let me see it and taste it. I can't think of anything I'd rather not do. No, dude. You, oh, you're uh, curious Joey of tried how to t- vain Joey my tried to is. touch my dick once. What happened, Joe? Oh, he, oh, hit, he hit down me in the Joe's nuts. pants. What happened, Joe? He hit me in the nuts. We were staying at a, what in you, a house. What did you think? You punched me. In we the were dick. staying in the house together, and he comes by and he just like rubs my dick. <laughs> I'm Italian. We can do that. He's like, we're he's like we're Italian. I'm like, no, I'm Irish. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm gonna show you what we like, do. No, he yeah, punches me right in the dick. Yeah, and I I can't listen. We talked about this actually in the in the car ride home. It's like, I think it's crazy how. Uh, there's people who like can't admit when a dude is good looking because I hooked up with a girl who looks exactly like Steph Curry and she was <laughs> beautiful. 
She was. She was beautiful. She like uh, so you have to be able to see, you know, or you see a guy like fucking Brad Pitt in Fight Club, and you're like, all right, like I could tell why every chick yeah, wants dude. to bang this dude. Brad but, Pitt always. But the yeah. thing of like it's me ever wanting anything to do with a dick is insane. You want to see what my rim feels like in oh, the side of your mouth. See, oh. this, you know what? Oh, you are going to put your... There's a texture thing. You there, are going to put your kids through therapy there's if they ever see what you're thing. involved yes. in with this guy. You got to stop. You're yeah. just... You're hard. So your you, mouth waters when you think of me. So you never... Oh. <laughs> so you never Shut fight with your wife. Mike <laughs> yeah, get him out. He, those are your fantasies, pal. Yeah, man. I'd yeah. kiss you no problem, dude. Okay. I would. That's never. how straight I am. But you kiss you, dudes. not even worry about it. You've kissed I, dudes. I kiss Joe. I'd kiss you guys on the cheek. You wouldn't kiss me. Are, the, are these two about to make out right now? What's going I'll, on I'll here? I'll kiss your cheek right. Come here. Come no, here. that's fine, kissing nah. a cheek. But but I'm saying yeah, he'll stubbly. make he'll make out with you right now. Yeah. Nah. And guess what? Joe, you're an actor. This is a this is a. If you pay me, I have a price. How much, Jamie? You want to go half? He's gay for pay. Sure. I'm All gay right. for pay. How much? I'm gay for pay. Ten bucks. Out with him. Ten bucks. No, I mean, I'll, 20, I, I need 22, some of that cash too. 22, you're getting nothing. 50. You want to do this? How much? Twenty two fifty. Let th- just a twenty. A nice, nice. A let's nice keep it. Crisp what's a make out? Twenty. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know because I'm not going to watch. I need a lot but, more. But our dude. fans will tell us. I what. need a lot more. I need seventy five plus. Jamie, plus Jamie dollars. if we do twenty bucks, me? if we do twenty I bucks have, for these I two, I have all the cash. <laughs> There's that Sopranos money just being thrown around, huh? Right there. We just made twenty bucks right now, Jamie. We'll do it. Okay, how long do they have to kiss for? No, I'm not kissing. I'm not five kissing seconds. him. I'm no. I don't do this. I do it in the privacy of my own home. I don't five, need to do this seconds. online. Five seconds right here. 20 bucks for you. No, you're dude. doing it for free. This fucking cheapens our podcast. <laughs> well, you're Mr. I want to kiss dudes. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I can and not worry about being gay. You Harry, brought this can up. You believe you, this is happening. You, you brought this up because you said you want to kiss me. There's a difference between wanting to kiss Joe on the lips or can and you wanting to fucking bend over for me. <laughs> You want to bend over for me? Oh my God! By the way, going if, off the rails. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, nice. say, let's say I was gonna bang dudes, Cass. I was on TV. I <laughs> I'd be banging eights, <laughs> at least eight dudes. Eights, solid eights, seven and a half. To you're. Let's I'd just love say, to hear. I'm I, gonna be nice. You're not my type. Pal. <laughs> Who's your idea of an eight? You're not my type. I've seen you with the shirt off. You got, you know, the chopped meat. I, oh, my just, chest hair. Just all of it. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> I'm virile. Um, what? I will impregnate. Listen, it doesn't matter a, a man some, or a some, woman. Some good muscle, good weight. Look at him. Look at this guy. This He's, guy can't keep his hands up. Keep that twenty bucks in your pocket. We don't need to give it. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Are you? So you would you kiss him for twenty bucks? I'm starting to think you're gay. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not kissing it. <laughs> there you go. Fuck out of here. Yeah, dude. Is. There's are, a are Joey I know. serious about this? No, no. there's Joey. So you don't... Oh, fuck it. You what? don't fight with your wife? No, man. We don't fight. That's so nice. It's easy, That's amazing. Dude. I'm living with them right now. They're very easy. Very easy. Thank you. They Thank are you amazing. For opening I up spend your a lot of time with them. They get up. They make eggs together. They talk. They have, you know... They're a great team. They poop at the same time. Oh, nice. Does she sit on top of you and you leave like a little yeah. space? I, I crouch. You sit on the bottom. So, You're a young De Niro. Ah. Uh, by the way, top. Thank you. You are in probably what is one of top 100 movies of all time, would you say? Sleepers? Sleepers. Oh. I, He's yeah. big shot. He's forgetting what uh, movies in this fucking tell guy. Tell me which one, baby. Yeah, but Sleepers. Yeah, we Sleepers. should be going through your filmography because yeah. you've, you've done some cool stuff. Let's do it. Well, Sleepers was, yeah, it, Sleepers has, has aged well. And who's the Brad Pitt? Speaking of Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt's Brad Pitt's in, in that. Al Pacino? Uh, no, De Niro. De Niro? Bob played Father Bobby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my first thing out of the wow. gate. Who first, else, though? There's other big, big. Uh, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Um, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, that's right. Did he is retire? Mini, is Minnie Driver in that? Mini Driver's Mini in that? Mini Driver? That's yeah. a fucking, that's, that's a right. blockbuster. I've never seen and that you were, he was, You've never really? seen Sleepers? I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, maybe I'll man. watch it tonight. I think you'll really enjoy it. I bet Kasim has seen that a lot. Have you seen that, babe? I saw it. We know Many years ago? Many years ago. You got to watch it again. You it's play young great. De Niro, right? No, no. He plays the priest. I oh. play young uh, Jason Patrick. Oh, Jason oh, Patrick oh. plays the older version. Of- My B. But you met Bobby. I worked with him, yeah. I'll call him Bob because I met him too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah where, where, when did you oh, I met him at Tribeca. I shook his hand like this. If you're Bob, I go... Ooh, sorry, that was a bad one. And yeah. I, I double-handed it. And he's I felt like I gave him a poor squeeze. 
Did he yeah. comment? No, he, he was just like, did he give you his drink order? <laughs> <laughs> that's Yo, all he did. When I, so when I said that's top- That's Cassim's YouTube acting. <laughs> when I said- it's fine acting. When I said top, well, let, we'll let Joe be the judge of that. He's the, he knows- he knows He's the big shot. To, yeah. What, uh- You just did a movie right now, right? You just mm-hmm. did a movie with uh, with Lilo. I did. Right? How, how, how'd did. that go? He was fantastic. It was great. It was a short. But it was like super, super... Um, I've never done a short before, so it was cool because it's like they spend so much time on every moment because it's just like it's all in the quiet moments for a short. There was very little dialogue. It was mostly ad-libbed. Oh. So it was it was great. Excellent. Who's but Lilo? Are you talking about Lindsay Lohan? No, no Lilo, Lilo, Lilo Broncado. Broncado. Oh. He is young generation. They don't know. <laughs> yeah, Lilo would be in a different, that would be a different short film, I feel like. So you, you said when you, when we were talking about you coming here last week, you were like, I got a couple things I want to I wanna talk about. Yeah, Do you remember a couple things. Uh, oh, absolutely. Listen, I don't understand how you guys have not watched The Sopranos. Now, I get, I get the excuse. You guys are very close. Mr. James Gandolfini, rest in peace. Jamie will. I will. Yeah, that's not Jamie's excuse. That's just me. That's no, you. I would love to watch him. You need to watch that show. It's the best character study ever done. And he was fantastic. Everyone's fantastic. Mm-hmm. You got to watch it. You got to watch you guys too. You guys are great. That's eh, probably not going to happen. Jamie, Jamie could. Watch like, with your kids and put them in therapy. Older, yeah. And I have more time. A more time. What's the what's the age they got to be? Once Bo hit four 17. or five was great, but that that's when and then I had another one. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So once Jack's like four or five, will be in a like he's in school all day. I'm not as running around. Caring. No, he's saying what's a good age to watch yeah, the show. To start oh. not just what's a good age. <laughs> you were like four or five. I was like, it might be. You might want to wait a couple 17. more years. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Man, I was. That's when I started fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with me? I'm talking about an age where you can like appreciate what you're watching and not just like as I was I'm, being inappropriately in touch at like 12 you as, know? I feel like that's a good age As yeah and I'm the one with issues what, what's, what do you think the age is where if you found out that Bo was gonna like have sex with a girl that it's okay I don't know I mean Cutter and I were talking about the other night about when we lost our virginities and he was 14 and that just seems really like Bo's six. I'm like, in eight years, Bo's going to have sex. And then I start panicking because I have two boys. And I'm like, oh my God, I've got to be really on them about yeah. safe sex. It's yeah. crazy how 15 is like, all right. And then 14 is like, really? You like that one? It is a difference. It could to be me. like three months and you're well, just like, Well, it's eighth yeah. grade to ninth grade. It's middle school to high school. They're you like, be careful, two dude. Worlds. In like three years, you're going to walk into his bedroom. There's going to be socks standing up on the ceiling. Oh my God. <laughs> He's still my baby. I can't. So if, if he was 14 and you found out he was having sex, you'd what? Well, it's like I told you the other night. like, Because I, I, I asked you about weed. Yeah. Right. I was like, are you going to tell your kids that weed is bad or no. how do you approach that as a mom? No, I, I don't look. I don't know what weed is going to be by the time he's at an age when it's going to be like important like wanting to try it I right. but I would love for him to try it for his first time with me mm-hmm. so that I can like get high with talk mommy. him through it and explain when the right time to do it is and that like this is a proper way to handle it and like you might be the only real shaman in LA <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I could completely change my mind. That's when a tricky I'm presented one. With it, because boys. But as far as sex, I don't know. I'm going to leave that to Cutter. He's yeah, like two boys. Well, They've don't got... leave it to Cutter. He's going to have him banging chicks next no. week. <laughs> well, he's a good-looking kid. It's going to be presented at a at an age maybe that you're not comfortable with. Girls are throwing themselves at him already. I I don't doubt it. Like he, his teacher told me, she's like, I've never seen. She's like, I'm in, in love all with my him. years. <laughs> she's like, I've never seen doing, the later? way these little girls like freak out about him. And he's seven. Six. Six. He's a little stud. He is. He's he's awesome. He is, loves it's that, girls. That little loves that ladies. little cute speech impediment too. That probably gets him right. My baby. Yeah. What everything's a W. Like yeah. yeah kinda. Uh, yeah, like, that's like uh, exactly. Rob. It. Yeah, well, Bob, like, will you come play? Show me that pussy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> show me that pussy. Sometimes that's too far. <laughs> too, too close, too far. Too far, too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With good with tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it's good. You know, the weed thing, you, your frontal lobe isn't developed until you're 20 26, something. Right? Yeah, 25, yeah. 26. So do you run the risk of having him damage his frontal lobe? I don't know. I didn't smoke weed until I was oh. 34. First time I smoked weed, it was there was crack in it. I was twelve. Oh, so there was yeah. crack it was in it. The wooly. The first oh, time. Were you in the Bronx, New York, folks? Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah, that Yo, happened. You got yeah. really high. Fucking was you got crazy. Really high. I was gonna jump out of the window. Yeah, it was crack <laughs> water in there. Scary. It's gonna I, jump out. That's not. It wasn't. It wasn't poudre. The window. What's that? Poudre. The poudre. Yeah. Remember yeah, that? yeah. I don't know what the name was. I just know they were like, "Yo, it's a wooly," and I. Smoked it. I didn't know. I'm like, well, what is that? And I was like, yeah, it's got the crack water on it. Crack water? Water. Like they put. See, that's why this stuff scares me. That's why I'm the... saying I want to like monitor it with Bo. See, but this proves but now... this proves you can smoke crack and not fight with your wife. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think that's important for people that there to know. I was a right. big debate about that. Yeah. Well, don't you watch cops and all that stuff no. when they're always, you know, they're always fighting and they're they blame it on the drugs fighting. and stuff. But Joey's hasn't had one thing. You you swear, when's the last time you, if you had to sit, let's say you were playing match game here, uh -huh. prize is 10 like grand that. and you have to fill out on a thing. When is the last time you two fought about something? What would you write down? You have to put an answer. You're starting. Okay. You're trying to Let start stuff. You have to be in a car with them after. Hold so. on. Wait. Let's give, let's give Yuri a pen and paper and she has to write it down. Or you just, we trust you we know how you are you're very uh you're very very, very honorable she is woman. she's very honest mm -hmm. all right so she should come in for the last like 10 minutes to sit on your lap and give us yeah. give us a couple of what we so, have 10 minutes come here, yuri. so what do you come on in yuri so what what is go ahead you say your time you do you have one in mind yuri well uh, yeah i i have something okay wait do, really do you do you have an answer yuri take a seat babe <laughs> the go last time we fought do you have something in your head of the last time you fought can you remember a time? Yes. Okay, Joey, what is the what is the time oh, that you're and, thinking and of? I'm so interested to hear what Jamie's going to say about this. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have the, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I got the date and the whole By the thing. way, this is why you have to pry. Because they said they yeah. don't fight, and instantly they each have an example of the yeah. last fight I they got into. I think it's the only time. All right, wow. go ahead. I remember. What do you say? It was like, uh, I believe, it was like the summer of like 2004. 15? Wow. What the, why five is, years you're ago? so exact? He has a much better memory than <laughs> But I you do. remember oh, what I it was about. I, listen, along. no, I know what the argument was about, but I don't remember the exact date. But I, it, was, I remember the, 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 the weather. I remember walking up the street <laughs> and me being the blustery Italian. I'm like, yeah, come on. And she just shuts down, gets cold. I, I ice him out. So what was, <laughs> uh, was this the fight you're thinking of too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I what, know what exactly was it about? what it is. <laughs> I it was so, okay. So there was a YouTube video, and it was about it's always YouTube. <laughs> we do it. Women getting catcalled on the street. Oh yeah, that New York. Do you York remember one. this? Yeah. The New York one. Yeah, wasn't that staged? Correct. Wasn't that whole thing staged? <laughs> And it I'm like, it? that's not a, it's not know. a big deal. She wasn't really getting harassed. Oh, Listen, yeah. no, you oh, don't know because Joey. you're a guy, right, Jamie? Because when a girl walks down the street, you gotta save me up. Nope. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's super it's really uncomfortable. uncomfortable. And like what we think, I'm where sorry. were, oh, you know what? Speak into there, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yuri, Yuri. <laughs> Speak oh, in. The other day when we were at your apartment building, I was saying this parking garage is creeping me out. It's because that's where stuff happens, mm -hmm. right? Right, Like yeah. as a girl, I would you never want to. in there, yeah. Law and order, SBU. Oh, you mean rape centers? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's, as a guy, you would never think about that. This one is like, Joey's like, Oh, this parking garage is so cool. It'd be so cool to film something here. It's like very atmospheric. And I'm like, this is creepy as fuck. I want to get out of here. <laughs> really? Right? Totally. And as a girl, you just have a different awareness. Like walking down the street, you know, being catcalled. Like, yeah. you know. Well, another life. thing with the catcalling is it's, it's not even so much the catcalling. It's when you don't, it's whether or not you respond or not, then you get yelled at. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, my yeah. favorite is when, when a guy they get says angry at you when you don't respond. When a guy like, says you're not to, that hot anyway. Yeah, like, when a guy says to a girl, he's I like, hey, smile a little. I hate when people that's, do that. I told absolutely. you that people do that to me all the time. Really? I apparently have like a major resting bitch. Give face. us a smile. Smile, please. it ain't so bad. I'm like, oh, fuck you, man. That's the worst. Yeah. Now Ugh. I get that completely. Just the video didn't capture any of that. That video is pretty tame. Like I know where it can go. Yeah, absolutely. But so just the we, video, what, how so they you guys captured it. I'm like, about your stance on we, that. Yeah, we got in an argument about that because he was like, I didn't think that was so bad, and there were parts of it where it wasn't that bad to be honest. But right. then there so were that parts video of wasn't it. bad. 
but I know where go. it can go. I, I know see? that it happens every day. Rob did okay, this. see, we're getting into the same Rob, I haven't Rob had this experience since I moved out of New York City. But when I was in New York City, yes, all the time, especially um, like you walk by, like not to discriminate, but like construction sites oh, sure. and things yeah. like the guys yeah. are just sitting there on their yeah. break and they just, they st- you know you're going to get looked up and down. Yeah. You I, know it. I'm, I respect pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I honor the vag. Honor I the treat vag. I treat every yeah. pussy like it's its own universe. And you, you kind of act Jesus. like one around them too. You know. I'm you sorry. Know? Can I just interrupt for a second? Kasim, I don't know what is going on, but he wrote on here, "Don't fuck with cats." That's, oh, a, doc- oh, that's a, documentary. a documentary. Oh, oh, I was like, my yeah. God, you guys, we haven't even talked about that. But he always Sorry. writes down weird. You never know what's going <laughs> on. That is usually, very funny to look at. I was expecting a penis with balls. So wait, you know. yeah. oh yeah, well you know he does. So those. that's that's oh, it. That one. That's, yes, that would be right? this one. There you go. That, oh, there it is. That's the oh. last time you guys really got into a fight. That's from. That drawing, you, that's inspired from a uh, fucking. Uh, Super American bad? Psycho. Oh, American Psycho. Oh, oh, oh! It wasn't, but I can see why you would think that because it's almost exactly what he drew. Before yes, he, he killed, drew in the, he in the book that she goes to find. Yeah, yeah. And then she starts crying. So in the last five years, you guys have gotten in one the little argument. Fight. I, we're, I think the argument. That's the I find argument. that to be a problem. <laughs> well, yeah, I think, I think it's because like. I will. I will say we're both very like easygoing roommates. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've been roommates with him. He's the best. Yeah. He's like, amazing. He never had an issue with any of his roommates, and I've never had an issue with any of my roommates. So no. now that we're living together, so are there are there things that you do that you hate to do, but you do them for him, and you're just like, yeah, I just do it because I know. Dude, this great guy, question. Sex. Hold on one second. This <laughs> All guy, of it. I will say this guy freaking, and he did it at Kasson's place too. I was like, are you serious? He the leaves. one thing I <laughs> oh, no. fucking do. What do I got to clean one, now? No, no, no. He leaves dirty napkins all over the place. He uses them oh, yeah, and I've then he leaves too. them. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, throw them in the fucking You guys do can. your own dishes. You guys are clean. But is there anything yeah. that you hate to do, but you're like, I love him, so I do it and I don't give him shit about it? Yeah. See my family. Your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Podcasts. <laughs> Hang out with my family. No, no. What about you, Joe? Is there anything that you do for Yuri that you hate to do? I do for her that I hate to do. It's really yeah work. <laughs> that that is true. Make the money. You got to make the money. <laughs> that is true because me and Joe would just walk around New York for like six hours and yeah. stare at buildings and eat amazing food. Mm-hmm. And she would call like, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be like, "Oh, we're hanging we're out in our lives." Yeah, and she'd be like, "Joey's got to come home now. He's got to <laughs> read this thing and he's got to do this." And he'd be like, "All right, I gotta, I, I gotta go. You know, I gotta put him on tape for a show." We listen. Yeah. We have very different. We grew up with very, very different. different work ethics. Yeah, because a little bit. He comes from the Italian. You know, like everything is domani. Do, uh, I mean, um, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow means like domani I'll get to tomorrow. it. I'll and get everything to with you is right now. Yeah, it's she's fifty like, fifty. She's a true Gemini. She's fifty fifty, like a drill sergeant and a hippie. I She's love both. that. Completely both. But it's but also down the I'm middle. completely a function. You guys like... don't see the drill, sorry. <laughs> no, I've I could I could you tell. I've I've seen little Hello. things where I'm like, okay, I see she's tucking that you know, like <laughs> you she's sweeping that. that under the rug. Absolutely. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Wh- whipped me into shape. I think it's yeah. you know. I mean I'm so I'm Korean, which is like it's totally like the education and like the way that, you know, culturally I was brought up and yeah. now and but it, because I lived in Italy before. And so before I knew Joey, like I knew what the Italian mm. mentality was and how different it was from like, you know, the way that like I had grown up. So there was a connection there, you know. But she didn't quite know the the blue collar Italian American. She got a crash course in that. That's true. Because the Italians that I knew were like Italians from Italy, which is a very it's different. It's a little thing. different. Yeah. yeah. Definitely different. Well, thank you guys for being our first guest on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. We, uh, Love you guys. Yeah. Is it done? Are we done? I think so. We yeah. Done? We're, uh, right. Well, yeah. Thanks for done. coming. I um, get to go see your sick babies. I get to go yeah. take care of the babies. Let's plug our, let's plug our stuff. Joe, I love doing this podcast. I just want to say it right now. Dude, I know you do. That's do. so sweet of you to say. <laughs> we do. You I love do. your own podcast. It's a great oh, I podcast. I love sitting around with you guys. Yeah. yeah, these guys are listening to all of them. They love it. They you guys it. have been the biggest cheerleaders we have. You know, there's like 
a few of you who are always putting our things on your story. Joey promotes and it on promoting. his social media every week. Every week. That's very yeah. nice of you. Absolutely. Can you know, big star like you. To yeah. Take a little interest in a little, tiny little podcast. I need to find you guys oh, yeah, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Um, where can we find you, Joe? Uh, on Instagram, uh, Joe underscore Perino. Yep. Yeah. And on Power? On Power, check out the... Uh, what the 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 last five? You're on a Netflix show too. Yeah, on Netflix. Uh, it call, it's, it's called It's Bruno. Bruno. It's mm-hmm. a short form comedy series. I had the most fun I ever had in my life actually doing that series. Whoa! Oh! Whoa. <laughs> you Whoa. know, go to Salt Ravi here. <clears throat> Bryce, delete this and, episode and, yeah. and roll with the. Uh... Right, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Whoa! And again, yeah. No, it's a great show, but I had the most fun in my life working with you guys. Yeah, I gotta oh, go. Okay. No. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> Cass, I'm I'm feeling closer to you now because finally. we have to push him slowly out of the finally, picture. Finally, finally, yeah, damn it, it's, it's gonna be uh, um, it's gonna be me and you. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you. You, so you can much. find Jamie uh, Jamie L Sigler on Twitter, <laughs> Jamie Lynn Sigler on Instagram. <laughs> you can it. find me uh, Cassim uh, G on uh, Instagram and Twitter. You can find and me the avoiding show. everyone, and you and you <laughs> won't find Rob there. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on iTunes or whatever, we appreciate all the support. We're happy to be finally doing a a video version of it. And um, do us a favor, consider subscribing to the channel. If uh, not, no big deal. This feels forced. Well, yeah. No, subscribe. <laughs> there subscribe. you go. See? Subscribe. You need an channel. Italian to do it. He yeah. did it. He yeah, did it good. Do it again. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Yuri, subscribe tell him in another channel. language. Oh, wait, wait. Tell him in Italian. Oh. I don't know how to say subscribe. Just make it up. <laughs> Come on, you're improv. Tutto, tutto, descrabiotto. Uh, <laughs> subscribiotto. Make sure, <laughs> make sure to la canal. Yuri, man. tell him in another language. Porco Dio. Oh, Por- Yuri, tell him in Korean. Hit that Porco Dio button, everybody. Subscribe, haseo. <laughs> yeah. Holler. What up? Uh, that's great. And assalamu alaikum to you. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>